my hope for diabetes would be that people can live with diabetes. It's a purpose that we should all work hard for. It. Every person deserves the right to have access to medication. To me, we are not celebrating the disease, but we are celebrating the achievement that we have done so far in terms of diabetics. We have around 130 young leaders from 74 different countries this time in Melbourne. There are around, I guess, 40 languages that we speak. But the common language between all of us is diabetes. The Young Leaders in Diabetes is a global network of young people chosen by the IDF because of our volunteer work in our own countries. And we're invited to this wonderful leadership training that helps us to improve our volunteer work and to understand diabetes worldwide. I believe responsibility comes with experience and this is an experience. This is where we learn from each other. We were communicating, what have you done this month? This is what I have covered. You send it. We put this um, notes together and then we try by all means to make sure that we know how far we are going. It really opens your eyes in terms of what is available to you as tools to really make what you want to do in your country in terms of diabetes possible. Everyone may be in their own little world feeling that they are by themselves, but really and truly they are not. You know, there are many other young people who are in the same situation as them. Uh, so the complications and comorbidities with diabetes are inherent and there are a lot of problems out there on a population level. The doctor told me when I diagnosed like uh, five years you were lost your eyes, uh, ten years you were lost your kidney. If you don't control your blood sugar, that will happen to everybody. What we need to do is obviously be proactive with diabetes and not reactive to diabetes. I think that the biggest point of diabetes in Brazil is education. Since 2006, we have a law that guarantees insulin test stripes, glucometers for everyone. But even the people receiving all those things, they don't manage to have a great A1C. We're not only just the amputation capital of the world, because of diabetes, we have the highest rate of death after am amputation. And now the number of the diabetes in China, the number is growing up. And we estimate that more than half of the people living with diabetes don't even know that they've got it, so they're undiagnosed. The, the real issue, I think, is testing supplies. I would be lucky, you know, to let's say have family in the UK or the US that would probably send some strips. And, you know, being a type one, as you would see, that you have to monitor yourself regularly and so forth. And I did not have that privilege. 60% of our population is living under $2 a day. The lowest rate of a while is around $7. Including that the cost of the syringes, the cost of the testing and everything, most people won't even have food to eat after taking their insulin. For us, we need everything. It means that Africa, we just want to start from the grassroots level going up. So it's just a matter of putting things on the table and we get what needs to be done. I think like there is a bit of anger at first, but that just motivates you to act as maximum as possible in your own country. Young leader is uh, the first step for it, so I think it's very awesome. Well, I want to make a change. I want to change people's attitudes about diabetes, not only in my country, but all over the world. My, my project that I've done in the last two years, a public service announcement um, over the whole month of November, you know, just raising the fact that people with diabetes, they need to have access to the, the medication. Building, you know, support group for the young people in Grenada. I've been putting together people, young people, to develop events for the World Diabetes Day. So right now we want to have uh, an international skiing camp and we want to give 
everyone who attends the camp the opportunity to wear continuous glucose monitoring. Uh, show that CGM really helps you a lot to have a healthy lifestyle. Right now, Blueprint Barbados is focusing on a lot of type 2 related projects and just diabetes related projects in general. I speak wherever I can, schools, hospitals, conferences. We'll be setting up the first ever camp for children with diabetes in Pakistan, along with their families in March. I've organized uh, three sailing camps for people who has diabetes. The Young Leaders program is a real need in the international diabetes community. It's really giving us an opportunity to have our voices be heard for those people that need it. Every young leader, no matter where they're from, what their project is, what their goal in life is, they're awesome. When I came yesterday to this place, when I entered inside and I came out, I cried. I wish that my mother could have been with me to see how healthy I am. When she was, you know, leaving, she never knew I could make it. We are young leaders and we are coming up. Today is ours, tomorrow shall be ours. People talk about the change that you want to see in the world. And I believe, as us as the young leaders, we are that change that needs to happen in the world of diabetes.